And an open question is to know the extent and pervasiveness of universality among all possible computer programs. For example, if you generate a valid computer program at random, will it turn to be Turing universal? Well, I myself with a close collaborator recently shed light on this question by proving that with almost probability one, this is the case. And so it means that almost every computer program can emulate any other computer program. And it has all sorts of interesting consequences. And we did precisely this um, using Turing seminal concept of emulation based on um, Turing universality. And so findings, finding encodings or compilers as they are known in computer science for computer programs to be translated into other computer programs, we found these results. If you're interested in further details, you can look at this recent paper of ours, and I encourage you to do so as I think it will become a fundamental paper in the future, not only because of the results and consequences, but the methodology spanning a wide range of seminal concepts in computer science and beyond, like networks, for example. In fact, this was done using another model slightly different to that of Turing that I already talked very briefly about, and that is cellular automata. But it turns out that the model of Turing machine and cellular automata are equivalent, as I think I already told you. And for every Turing machine, there is a cellular automaton. And for every cellular automaton, there is a Turing machine computing the same function. So in fact, one can completely replace the model of the Turing machine by some other equivalent model and nothing or very little adaptation the theory of computation will require because you are just replacing it with another model of equivalent power. Uh, one other question is what are the kind of things that cannot be computed, even reprogramming machines with the power of Turing universality? There are several ways to illustrate the number of uncomputable problems unsolvable, unsolvable by mechanistic or algorithmic means implemented by a Turing machine. To illustrate it, let me introduce the concept of a computable number. You may remember the rational numbers. Rational numbers are those that can be expressed as a fraction of integer numbers. And integer numbers are numbers like 500 or minus two or one, one million. So are whole numbers. So for example, one over two or one over three are examples of rational numbers. In the case of one over three, we have uh, a fraction whose dec decimal expansion is infinite, even if, if periodic. But the number is said to be, com set to be comp computable because we know how to calculate and gener generate every one of its digits, no matter how long. Unlike rational numbers, irrational numbers cannot be described as a fraction of integer numbers. Examples are the square root of two or the mathematical constant pi that have characteristic, the characteristic to have no periodic decimal expansion. Yet some of them, such as pi, can still be calculated digit by digit by a computer using one of the many short formulas to generate the, di the digits of pi. However, most numbers are not of this type. For most irrational numbers, there is no formula to generate the, their digits. Not only because we don't know the formula, but because the formula does not exist. The way to see this is by thinking of enumerating all possible programs. So you know that, for example, of all computer programs in, in our digital computers are stored in a computer in binary. So technically, an, a, a program is just a finite string of zeros and ones. You also may know that you can convert any binary string into a unique integer number. So for example, one, one in binary is three in decimal notation. So each possible computer program has an integer associated, an index. And there is an infinite number of these programs, but they are numerable or countable, meaning that you can count them one by one using their decimal notation. So basically, once you convert them into integers, you have a natural enumeration of all possible programs. But as you may know, the number of irrational numbers is not countable. 
there is no way to count them because there is always more and more numbers between any two irrational numbers. So there are no enough computer programs or formulas for every possible irrational number. And this means that most numbers are non-computable. And actually this result can be generalized and it turns out that most problems that can be written as an input to a Turing machine or, or computer program are not computable. I have just given you an example with number. And I find that this also very surprising. It is quite a result. And this is all due to Alan Turing again. So in what sense is the Turing machine a metric standard? In many ways, even if we have only explored a small fraction of the ramifications of the model. As we saw, the model is a standard concept to the design of sequential algorithms. It also gives sense and meaning to the question of when is something random or not. Also, it is also at the same time independent of the model, but it is also the reference machine in the area of computational complexity. If you have heard of algorithms taking linear, polynomial, exponential time, and so on, they are all actually talking about the asymptotic asymptotic time that certain Turing machines take when computer computing these problems. And you could even be awarded a 1 million US dollars prize if you could answer a question related to computational time and algorithms deeply rooted in, in the model of the Turing machine. 